How's it going everybody? My name is Mitch and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be making an update video to a video I previously did of uh, moving a model from Vroid Studio to Blender to Clip Studio. Uh, I'm doing this because I actually used an older version of Vroid Studio and they added a lot of cool different things and I found a much reliable way um, to get the get your model into Clip Studio. All right, so without further ado, uh, the tools you're going to need, um, you're going to obviously need Vroid Studio, the newest version of Blender as of me recording. This is 2.83, um, and then two plugins for Blender as well. Um, the links will be in the description down below for them, um, and then obviously Clip Studio. So we'll go ahead and go into Vroid Studio. Um, we're just going to grab a uh, default model here. Um, we're not going to make anything. Um, there's a lot of tutorials for that. Um, and I might make some videos on it myself. Um, so we'll just go over exporter, export. Um, and one of the newest, biggest features uh, me, for me personally that helps when doing this um, and exporting uh, custom clothing is right down here, if you click erase uh, transparent meshes, um, I, I ran into an error with that on the older version. Um, so with this added in, uh, it's going to be a lot nicer when exporting models into Blender. Um, this model doesn't use it, but if you ever make custom clothing where you have to actually race textures, um, the, this will actually race the mesh for it as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and export it. We'll just say YouTube exports. Just put it YouTube. I'm sure, that's her name. All right, we're all done with Vroid. So now we'll go ahead and open up Blender. This is what you get when you get a new file. You can just right click to delete that. And what we're gonna do is gonna go to Edit, Preferences, and you're gonna Add-ons right here. You're gonna go to Install. And then this is where you're gonna find those two plugins that I mentioned earlier. Um, this is the CADS plugin. That's very, a lot of people use this for uh, VR chat and a lot of other stuff like that. Um, and then you also need the new VRM importer um, to actually import your model as well. Um, so once you download those, once you're in this uh, window, you're gonna go ahead and try to find them. Um, I already have them installed. Uh, they'll probably just be in your downloads right here. You just gotta click them, uh, install add-ons. Um, so we'll go back to that. And then once they're in there, you're gonna have to actually click on them to make sure that they're actually up and running. Um, you should see that both of them are clicked. All right, and so what you're gonna have to do over now is there's a little diagonal line, um, a little arrow, go ahead and click that. And go to cats, this is what we need. We'll get import model. So we'll go ahead and find our model that we just downloaded from Vroid. And there she is. Take a couple minutes, depending on your computer, to upload the model. It just doesn't take this long. It's being a little bit more complex than usual. There we go. I actually did have an error, but we'll see if that actually affects it. Um, so you can go around and move around, look at it, um, go into shading, make sure. It might look a little bit different. Um, and that's where you gotta do this. You gotta do click fix model. That takes a couple seconds. It should look a little bit better. Um, and then there's a lot of different options you can do with this program. I really haven't uh, dived too much in it because I, I really use uh, Clip Studio for all my modeling um, rather than this, even though I probably should use this a little bit more, um, but probably it will in the future. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now we just have to export it, continue to export. Uh, we'll go back to where we kept our Our girl uh, FBX. Export the FBX. Now, a lot of people have been asking uh, in the comments, why don't you just use cats and why, why even bother with Modeler? Uh, a big reason is because, as you'll see, um, there's a lot of cool things you can do in Clip Studio. Um, and I work in making comics in Clip Studio, so it just I, it doesn't, uh, I'm able to just kind of work with them both together um, 
I don't really have to switch between the programs too often. I just like being in Clip Studio. Um, and the big reason is you can actually download a lot of customizable poses um, and kind of hotkey um, your own custom poses uh, that makes uh, moving around your model a lot easier. So now we'll go ahead and open up Clip Studio. We'll go ahead and open up Modeler. Um, you're going to make sure the 3D character is selected. It should start on that for the first time. Um, just make sure you switch to that. If you don't have Modeler, if you do own Clip Studio, you do actually own Modeler. You might just have to download it. When you click on the Modeler button, it should uh, send you to the download page. Um, but anyway, once we're here, create 3D character. Let's go over here. This is where the body is. And then you got to click this button right here, Add from File. Again, we got to find our FBX F port. Uh, should yep, should be right here. It just takes a couple seconds. And in my previous video, people were having issues on the the model not showing the proper colors. Um, with this, it should not be any issues. Um, her hair, unfortunately, I, I have had issues with the hair coming over. Um, that's the only. But for bringing it into Clip Studio. Um, you're probably going to be coloring on top of it anyway. Um, but I'll, I'll still try to look into how you can fix it. Um, for now, the hair is all, like, usually always white. Sometimes you can get lucky, uh, and it's kind of hit or miss every now and then. All right, so we have the model in here. Uh, we're going to go over here and click Use as Complete Character. That really doesn't matter, I learned. Um, I just do it anyway. Um, and we're going to go ahead and perform the bone mapping. Go ahead and press OK. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to rig this uh, to a kind of default uh, modeler rig. And we just got to show where everything is. So you kind of just follow along. Uh, please uh, specify head. So usually on, small, on more basic models, uh, they'll just have like one bone up here. If you just click any bone, pretty much, uh, that's on the head, it'll kind of understand and see it. Um, so now we got to click the right arm. It's telling you this one. It's right there. Left arm over there. Right leg over here left leg right there so click next and it's completed and then so basically you just kind of want to do this make sure it kind of went properly yeah your skirt's not the greatest um with this um usually just works better with uh basic uh models um so go ahead and press complete um and that's pretty much it uh for modeler there's also a lot of cool other things that i've been doing my, uh, myself personally so if you go over here into accessories, you can actually in import other FBX uh, models and kind of just put accessories on them. That really helps you uh, when you're drawing over them or whatever purpose you're using them for in Clip Studio. Um, but now that we have this model set, I would recommend saving it um, so you can go back into it and edit it. Or if you ever move your computers um, or wh whatever reason, you can uh, get to it pretty easily. Um, but register as a new material. Uh, we'll just name her YouTube char. And you can save it pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, you can make different folders. We'll just put her in the basic one for now. Um, can't do that. I'll just put her in my fan art one for now. A second. All right. Looks like it should be good. We can exit out. Again, I would recommend saving it if you're going to go back and edit it ever. Um, so now if we open up paint, we'll look at how to add the different poses and why it's definitely worth the time to learn how to do this. So we'll go into fan art, uh, our YouTube care. All right, there she is. Her arms are down, so that means it worked. Um, so another thing I found if you're using uh, Clip Studio, especially the 3D tools, uh, if you notice, you kind of, it's kind of juddery. I have a pretty high-end computer. It's a gaming PC. Um, so it really, sh I was always kind of shocked on why it kind of did this. I don't know. I was always so very confused. I just thought this program wasn't optimized very well. There's a button right down here that switches uh, enable and disable physics simulation. I don't know what it's emulating because uh, it doesn't really do much. I just tested some physics. But anyway, if you cl click it off, it's like super smooth. It's way smoother. I don't know if it's going to pick up, pick up um, in the video, um, but if you have a lower-end computer and you're using 3D models uh, in Clip Studio, 
I would definitely recommend turning that off. I'm going to try to see if there's a way you can actually just turn it off by default, but it's been a lot helpful. Um, so we have the model in 3D um, Aaron Clip Studio. Now, the biggest thing here is we can get models. So it comes with a lot of different poses with Clip Studio, uh, a lot of free ones, um, but the best ones are always going to be downloaded. So I don't have too many right now. Um, but pretty much if you go back to the store here, um, you can do Clip Studio Assets and you can just type in whatever pose or whatever anything else that you might want. Um, pretty basic stuff. They'll probably have it um, a little bit more complex. You might have to um, move and make yourself, um, which is which is pretty easy as well, too, because they, they come with a lot of cool features. Um, you might be able to use um, Blender just as well, um, but this is pretty more, I think this is much more intuitive than Blender kind of is. Um, but anyway, so we, we can just grab any pose. Let's drag and drop her in this pose. So just kind of clipping out of the floor there. And go ahead and scroll back, Let's move her up, Let's scroll around, zoom in. Yeah, pretty much you kind of just have to adjust it because it's not gonna, always going to be perfect. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, and her eyes are definitely wonky, as you can probably tell. Um, you can fix it, it's very hard. <laughs> to say the least. Um, you, you, I've, I've done it like once or twice. Um, it's not, this program is not really meant uh, to do that um, precise control of all these different bones. Um, that'd be something you use Blender for. Um, but mostly what I use this for is when I'm drawing, um, you know, I kind of just, you know, turn the opacity down and I, I use this as kind of like a form, um, just kind of really easy base um, that I really just, you know, I have a really good foundation already and then I can just, you know, do my own facial expressions uh, and fix any other things that might be missing uh, and it makes drawing comics a lot faster. Uh, I may do a couple other tutorials on kind of tips and tricks to drawing over top these um, but for now that's the end of the video. Feel free to comment uh, if you have any questions or concerns uh, and thank you all for watching.